Oh, I forgot to turn my mic on. <laughs> Sorry. Hello! I made a model and it's a bit scuffed. Oh no, you can see the, <laughs> you can see the YouTube studio mark. Oh dear. Um, hello! I decided I'd draw for a bit. That's, that's the premise of the stream. <laughs> um, yeah. I wanna dabble my toes in the world of VTubing, I guess. And I have two models planned. One, this one. Sorry, I'm watching my microphone. <laughs> um, but yes, this one I have. Um, and I'm gonna make another one with my other character. And hopefully it'll be good. I'll, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping I'll enjoy it. What I want to do as well is give this model an update. It's a tad out of date and um, a little bit ropey with the uh, the physics and stuff like that. Uh, the blinking especially, so I'm going to give this one an update to a later date. But first, I want to work on this new one. Let me switch screens. Oh dear, you can't see anything. Ah! <laughs> oh dear, hang on, hang on. This is something I probably should have done before I go online, I'm sorry. Here we go. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, I see what's happened here. I've done the wrong thing. There we go. Oh, <laughs> now you can't see me. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Game capture, add source. That's the one. That one. Yeah, there I am. Let me, hang on. Let me move myself some other way. I do apologize. I'm so sorry. This took longer than I expected. Okay. We're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. Okay. Moving on to actually drawing. Uh, oh, that's the wrong tab. This is going well already. So, I use Fire Alpaca for drawing, just because it's easy for me. That's it. <laughs> That's all I have to say on the matter, apparently. I use Fire Alpaca for drawing. But yes, I, I don't want to do a full body model, because I don't have much use for a full body model, unfortunately. Uh, but I do want to use models more often while I'm doing artwork. Because uh, I like that. I like that a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, okay, that was strange. Oh dear, I am having some issues. I do apologise. This is stuff I try and do off the air, but sometimes you can't tell if something's gone wrong until you're on the air. Oh no! Ah, okay. It's alright. We're okay. <laughs> Are you thinking the models lost me? Okay, we're good. Anyway, we're back, we're back. Um, this character I've wanted to do a model of for a while. There's like one, um, piece sitting currently in my, uh, old, like, 2021 art folder. And it feels weird saying that. I don't like that 2021 is considered old now. But uh, there's one sitting in the art folder of like me trying to make a VTuber model out of him. But yeah, he's cool. I, I like this character a lot. He's a lot of fun to draw. Very, very Halloween vibes. I love him a lot. Uh, you may also notice I made the file size for this way bigger than it needs to be. I'm hoping that I'll be able to rig it up. Uh, I want to kind of... I'm sorry if I lost track in there for a sec, I had to scratch my nose. <laughs> I'm hoping that by doing this I'll be able to... Uh, when I do this later in VTube Studio, I'll be able to... Um, do the texture atlas and make them very high quality. I hope. <laughs> no guarantees, but you know. And that's how it is sometimes, I suppose. And uh, I do apologise, there'll be a lot of copy-pasting, because I want him to be relatively symmetrical. I suppose I should probably info-dump about the character while I draw him, huh? Um, he's uh, quite prim and proper, he's very sort of... 
gentlemanly feels like the wrong word, but it's applicable. Um, yes, he's very sort of, uh, as you can probably tell by the overall look, he's a vampire. Um, not of a particularly high class in the vampire hierarchy. Oh my god, hello Sky! Hi! How you doing? How's how's everything? Oh my god, we're lagging so much, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh dear me. It might just be my phone, but your stream is buffering. Oh no, we've lost frames. I had dreams. I had dreams. Um, yeah, we're very laggy at the moment, I'm very sorry. Uh... It might just be your phone. I don't have any issues on my end particularly, but we'll see. Hmm. How's it going now? I, it's all right on my end, but... Oh, hey, he's dead. Oh, no! Rip. Hang on. Rip. Sorry. <laughs> if I look too far away, it loses me. So I kind of... Whoop! There I go. Boing. I'm back. <laughs> Yo, look. What does that say? You're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> I hope everything's going all right for you. How was uh, Jasnico on? Is she all right? It's okay? Um, it's okay. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, we're probably losing some frames. I do apologize. There's not much I can do. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Hang on. Let me... I'm gonna hop into VTube Studio and see if there's any se settings I can change. Um, so you might... I'm sorry. I'm breaking the immersion real quick. <laughs> um, hold on. I need to... <laughs> HD user facing. Um, that one. That one. Whoop. Whoop. Are we back? Oh. <laughs> ah. Are we back? We're back. Okay. Yay! Okay. I, I changed some settings, so hopefully that should cut down a bit of CPU performance. We'll see. We'll see. I turned my phone off. <laughs> I can't see chat. Oh no, our immersion is broken! I know! Oh! <laughs> oh no, our immersion, it's broken! <laughs> I... I'm having a good time. This is good. I... <laughs> Oh no, I've skipped so many frames. Oh, it's buffering. I'm so sorry. That's how this will go for the rest of the time I try and do VTubing, I think. Oh, it's it's laggy on my end now as well. Oh dear. The second I try and start drawing, it's like... <sighs> starts dying on, on me. What is that? Cat. Hey there. <laughs> That's a good emote. I like that emote a lot. I just noticed, I'm so sorry, I, I didn't stick around for very long because I uh, wanted to quickly sort some settings and stuff out. But thank you for gifting me a sub to Jazz. I'll be sure to check the channel out. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, I should probably have some music. <laughs> I keep forgetting stuff. I'm good at I'm good at streaming, guys. I'm very good at streaming. I know what I'm doing. Can you hear stuff? You can't hear stuff. Okay, hold on a minute. We'll get a media source up for you guys. Um, maybe, or maybe I'll just get. I kind of don't want to get Firefox up because I'm very scared it'll tank the performance. But the performance is already tanking. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, got to go out. Uh, bye! Have fun!
Hang on. What if I... What if I... Hang on. <laughs> okay. What if I... Oh. Did something. Oh. What if I did something shocking? Hang on. Give me a minute. I'm... 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 T <laughs> ah. Okay. Have I given you audio output? I have. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. I'm so sorry. I just ate something. Right. That's so quiet. <laughs> I must have changed it. The volume mixer. Hold on a minute. Volume mixer. Please, sir. Can I have some audio? Oh dear, oh dear me. Go up. Up, sir. Up, I beg. What? <laughs> um, okay. Can you hear that? Okay, you might be able to hear that. I don't know. I can't. I can't see. I can't see. I'm blind. Um. But hold on a minute. Why is it credited to Sean Wasabi? <laughs> we have audio. Woo. Okay. That's good. That's good. That gives us something to work with. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> 69% skip frames. Nice. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, drawing. Drawing, drawing, drawing. I need to get on with what the title says. <laughs> yes, there you go. Oh my word, it is quarter past eight. Oh, almost twenty past eight, actually. Dear lord. Time flies when you are having a moment. <laughs> Yes, um, if I were to do this for real, this is not a debut, this is a very scuffed, like, test, I suppose. If I am to do this again, I will unfortunately probably just have to have VTube Studio on. Because <laughs> otherwise it just does not work at all. It's a shame, I like, you know, having a little, little avatar to represent me. If VTube Studio were a bit less high demand, or if I had a better PC, I might do it more, but... I do not, sadly. Oh! The character! I forgot. I, I, was, I was talking about him and then I just completely zoned out. Um. So. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. Are we good? Has the lag stopped? The lag has not stopped. Oh no. Oh dear. It's really struggling, dog. I don't know what to do. So many background processes, I imagine. Okay, hold on. There we go. Minimize that down. And we'll just hope that it works. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, whenever I have this model and I start speaking in a higher voice. The, the, the head cannon voice for this character is not that high. But I just, I just start squeaking. <laughs> Let me see if I can lower myself down again. There we go. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me today, I do apologise. Um. Yeah, I, I wanted to talk about the character, didn't I? I keep forget- I keep getting sidetracked. Oh, the curse. The curse is real. Um. Yes, the character. He's a vampire. Uh, he's very prim and proper. He's very sort of... Uh, he likes being respectful. He likes manners. He likes learning about people. Um, charismatic, I would put it. I don't know how else to really describe it. Um, 
and he's very nice. Oh dear, that stopped. We're in the deafening silence again, boys. It's okay, we'll just... It's fine. Put your own music on in the background, that's how it works here today. Um, yeah, he's very sort of, um... Despite being very sort of, uh, charismatic, he is... He hates socialising. He's good with people, he hates it. Um... Very introverted, likes to read, likes to write, he does, you know. He likes to write books, he likes to read books, he likes to paint. Um, which works very well with the character that he's currently... Um, housing is the best way I can put it. Um, who is helping him redecorate his little, little house that he managed to find in the middle of the woods. Uh, it was abandoned, it was not listed on any property sites, you know, all legal, etc, etc. I'm just saying to cover my ass. I did not actually plan that far ahead with the story. Um, he he finds a house basically in the woods, and he kind of just goes, "This is mine now. Nobody owns it. Nobody lives in the house. It's abandoned. It's derelict." Um, but he takes it. He takes care of it. Um, but he's sort of let the responsibilities go a little bit because I don't know. He's sad. <laughs> Um, I don't really know if I can talk more about why he's sad without spoiling things, but, uh, yeah, he's a bit sad. And then, you know, the creepy little character you're seeing on screen comes into his life, the little VTuber avatar. And, uh, things... I don't want to say everything's magically fixed, because it isn't, and it takes a long time of healing and, you know, therapy and other such things, especially because both characters involved, neither one fixes the other, they are both equally as, you know, mentally ill, but they both help each other fix themselves, I guess is the best way to put it, yeah, I don't know, it's a little story I've been thinking up for a while, and I just like it, and I, I kind of wanted to share it with the great faceless internet <laughs> for all to see. I do want to draw more of these two. I want to play as more of these two as well, but you know, PC. <laughs> I'm going to need to get some kind of external uh, RAM or whatever if I can. I, I love my laptop. It works great for like, you know, Minecraft and anything that isn't me streaming whilst playing a game. Because when I do that, it just cries and dies and it sucks. Um, I remember with a really, really old model, model that I had, there were some troubles with that as well. There was, um, uh, forgive me, my, my brain's falling apart. <laughs> um, with the old model with the massive forehead, that had a lot of lag towards it as well, which sucked. The nice thing was that, um, VTube Studio could run perfectly fine on that laptop, uh, this laptop. But unfortunately it can't run alongside Streamlabs unless it is exclusively VTube that is being used. Which I'm fine with, I can do like just chatting streams and stuff like that with it on. Um, character stuff. <laughs> but, and I can still play as the characters. Both of them are essentially just facets of my personality. Because the story is very much rooted in like, you know, ah. Oh, Maggie's sad and needs a comfort story, they'll write their own comfort story. Um, so yeah, uh, both of the characters are essentially kind of facets of my own personality, I guess, is the best way I can describe it. Obviously exaggerated to a fairly big extent, but, you know, that's how it be. <laughs> But yeah. Um, this character, I love him a lot. He's great. He's a lot of fun to draw as well. The one thing that I have trouble with is his hair. Uh, I'll show you the reference picture that I'm trying to go off of. This is the best I've ever drawn his hair, and uh, it's now got the little floofy, spiky things coming up from his neck. Just kind of laying across the front. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but yeah. 
That's about the closest I've ever managed to get his hair to look like how I imagined it. And the unfortunate thing is I've never been able to replicate it. And that's a really old drawing as well and some of it's quite outdated, so... Yeah, but you'll be, you'll be seeing more of this character, hopefully, across the, the several streams. He's a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun to... Um, I don't know how fun he is to play necessarily, but he's a lot of fun to draw, he's a lot of fun to imagine, think about, I guess. That sounds really dodgy, but, you know, hopefully you get one in me. But yeah, him and a uh, character whose name varies, <laughs> they've got like a thousand epithets. Um, they are both characters that I love a lot, and... Um, I want to I want to talk more about them, but at the same time, I'm also very worried I'm going to end up just info dumping and spoiling everything. I want to make this a story, you know. I want to do something with it, but I don't know what, and that's sucks, man. Shit sucks. I was thinking maybe a comic. There are a lot of web comics out there. My d my d my people, Forest Cryptids, you guys. Um, I don't know if anyone would also read the comic, so I don't know. It would be a personal project, of course, but at the same time I would like people to enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, um, that's the character who I am drawing. He's great. If I am to, to actually follow through with the whole VTubing thing, I... Oh! Oh! I can show you it! I can show you it! Okay, okay, okay. Um, sneak peek. <laughs> um, add source image. I'm just going to quickly flick this up. Show you it. Show you it. Show you it. It looks really cool. <laughs> add source image 2. Uh, ba -ba. Yeah! Look at that. Look at that. It's, you know, it's the aesthetic. It's the vibe. It's the V. It's Bug. I'm very happy with it. And I, I, I actually do kind of want to kind of do the whole dual aesthetics thing if possible. I think it would be really cool. I don't know. I just... <laughs> I think it's neat. But yeah. Um, yeah. Also, uh, for just, just for the hell of it, I, uh, might have, um, uh, he might, uh, just be, um, he listens to Cave Town. <laughs> so, there you go. We got some, we got some people in there. It's, the more I'm drawing him, the more I realise this, the waistcoat looks like Lewis from Mystery Skulls. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Well, you know, how it be, I suppose. I just, the, 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 the waist doesn't have to be that. So it's just, well, because it'll probably be covered by the arms and, yeah, it'll be covered by the it's fine. I'm always spring. ASMR. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm saying a lot of BS, but I'm just. I I'm running out of topics, dog. Oh, oh, I know what I could say. Tomorrow. Not tomorrow. <laughs> Monday, I'll be streaming. Um, funnily enough. Might be using this character, not as a VTuber model, but just as a, an avatar in a game. I want to stream more Stardew Valley. It was a lot of fun the last time I did it. I, I was very tired, but I like Stardew Valley a lot. So I might do some Stardew. I might also, if I can get the model to work with the emulator, uh, have a crack at Earthbound again. Because I love Earthbound. And I, I it recently came out on Switch, and I've been dying to play it. I've been playing it a fair bit, but 
I always get distracted because my Switch also has <laughs> Animal Crossing. And as you can imagine, me likey Animal Crossing. Yeah, I, I also have The Sims 4, but that thing barely, um... <laughs> That thing kills my PC even without anything else going on, so I don't think I'd be able to stream The Sims 4. I like games with character creation a lot. I don't know, it's just a personal thing. I just I like character creation. It's fun. Oh, don't forget the his meat. His flesh. His skin. That's the word. His meat. No. That was horrible. I just don't wish to say that anymore. His human meat prison must be visible. Look at the tiny hands. This is a very old drawing. Look at the tiny hands. Do you trust this face? Do you trust him? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh dear. Oh god, the tangents. Oh dear. It'll be alright. They'll move. Oh, it's going to do, like, double jointed arms. Piss. Oh well. It'll have to be static, it's okay. Much like Maggie's, the ones that you're seeing on the screen right now. I've just gotten <laughs> by the by. The name isn't actually Maggie. I've just gotten very used to, um, a lot of streamers call me Maggie, and I just think that's really funny. <laughs> so I refer to myself with Maggie a lot. Maggie Spooky Moon is, um, commonly said by... <laughs> I think it's happened at least twice. One person's tried to call me Magi, and then the other just said my name really slowly. But then once they've read it, they seem to like it, so that's nice. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but um, there were some pops and bangs happening. Transgander. Oh, it would clash so horribly with the rest of his design, but I really want to. Little trans pin. Little trans pin. Yeah. Do a little, oh, fuck. <laughs> little, little boy right there. Around the lapel. <gasps> no, no, no. I have an idea. On the bat wing collar. Yeah. My boy's got a little pin. A little, little trans pin. He's proud. He's out and proud. I need to label these. Um, right arm. Oh. I put the pin on the wrong layer. It's connected to his arm. Oh no. Hang on. Let me. Oh, and if I wanted to. Oh, okay. It's all right. His clothes are all one layer. We'll we'll have to deal with it. Oh no! No, they aren't. I stand corrected. <laughs> I'll have to put this above here though. Collar. Oh. And then vest. I'll have to kind of bleed into one another a bit, but that's okay. Um, I can do that. Um. Right arm, left arm. What is banging outside? Are people doing fireworks? What are we celebrating, boys? Move that down here, that's okay. The legs can be attached to the rest of the body, because I'm not planning on moving the legs. The wingies I want to put behind everything. You know, oh, I shouldn't have flattened down the sketch because I'm really proud of the wings. They look really nice. I don't know if I'll be able to replicate that, but we'll see. I love bats as well, so a, a lot of my characters will have kind of motifs of stuff that I like. I'm so sorry if you can hear that, by the way. Um, This character has bats because I love bats. Bats are great. Me as in, like, the unholy creator of all of this rather than the character. He's a lot of fun. Um, I just love bats. Bats are really cool. 
British bats um, are very interesting. A lot of them are endangered species, but there's one bat who is of least concern called the common pipistrel, and it is just a potato with wings. I highly implore you to go and look them up. It's, they are wonderful little guys. I would put up one on screen, but I don't have one, sadly. I don't have one to display. I also don't have, like, own one. Because you can't own bats. I'm allowed. Which is probably good, because uh, I don't think people would actually be qualified to take care of bats. Although in, in the house that I'm hopefully gonna one day maybe own... Left wing. And we're doing it, like, from his perspective. Um... I would like to have a bat box. I think that'd be nice. Move it. Oh gosh, the lag, the lag, the lag. The lag is real, the lag is pain. Oh no. Come on. No, you want to. There we go. That's about right. Oh god, oh god, oh god, it's still moving. Why is it still moving? Okay. We're good. We're okay. We might have to kill the VTuber, sadly. Alright, one sec. Let me just... Let me just... The VTuber is dead. I'm sorry, chat. The VTuber must have died. Bats are super cute for no reason. Like if not fruit, like if not fruit, why shaped like potato? Exactly. They are great. I love bats so much. Hang on. How's we doing for lag? By the way, stream. Are we okay? Oh, we're not okay. I'm afraid the VTuber may have to go. It's really, really <laughs> hiking up the RAM usage. Unfortunately, wait. Potatoes aren't fruit. They are tubers. That's what they are. Yes, I love, I love bats. They're so cute. So, of course, one of my characters has to have some bat motif. And, of course, it has to be the one who wants to suck your blood. Yeah, yes, good. I love that. I'm gonna end up just saying that, like, twice, five times in this entire stream. I just, I love bats, I love bats, I love bats. <laughs> But it is true. Bats are really cool. Little potato guys. Actually, now that my stream isn't dying. Common Pipistrel. His name is Pipistrellus Pipistrellus and I love it. Look at the look at the little guy. He's like you can't see it. Hold on a minute. Give me a second. Give me a second. Window capture. Uh, add a new source. Not search host. I want Firefox. The boy. There you go. You can see him now. Pipistrellus, my beloved. Look at the little guy. He's the size of a finger. He's so small. Oh, that's your favorite animal. One of, definitely. I don't know if they are the favorite animal, but they are absolutely one of. Ah, oh, yes, exactly. He's so small. So small and so chunky. I love him. Uh, one of the other ones is probably... I like foxes, I like magpies. Hence my name. <laughs> and... Corvids in general are also great. Uh, what else is there? Oh god. What else is there to- oh, I'm so sorry, I, I, I clipped my mic with my sleeve. Let's think. Penguins were my favourite animal when I was a kid as well. If not bean, why bean-shaped? Exactly! They're just little lumps. I love them. Me just looking at bats out of my window, being like, you're doing great, sweetie! <laughs>
Oh, I don't want to combine the chin and ears because I want to do some hearing physics. Um, I also don't know whether or not I want to do other such physics with the <laughs> with the model yet. So I also need to just so that you know it looks really dodgy. But hang on, let me fix that. There we go. We need the, the neck to be kind of like a solid lump, so that way when I turn my head as the character, you don't get, like, flesh. I like horses and bees. Bees are a really good pick, and so are horses. I love them both. Um, yeah. Bees are awesome. Bees are really good. And horses are really cool as well. They're so very elegant and majestic, and then when you come up to them, they try and eat your clothes. <laughs> About the, my one favorite interaction I've ever had with a horse, I've, I've actually I have two. One was um, you know the general experience of having a horse feed out of your hands. It you know being able to pet their heads that is a magical experience. And the other one is when a horse tried to eat my mom's cardigan. <laughs> so you know there you go the duality of horse. Bees though bees are great. Hang on. Let me look up some bee picks. Do you have a favorite species of bee, or is it just kind of bees in general? Funny because I have an irrational fear of wasps because I stepped on so many barefoot when I was little, and one of them flew in my shoe the one time I decided to wear my shoes. Oh god. Oh, that's fair. Oh dear. Oh, flip, there we go. But just bees in general, but bumblebees are pretty cute. Yeah, bumblebees are pretty cute. Oh dear, I just merged the wrong thing. This here. Yeah, there we go, now the ears are one layer. But I want these to be separate, because I want to give them little dangly physics. I... Hmm. You can probably hear that. I do apologize, I don't know what's going on outside. Uh, oh, fireworks, right, it's fireworks. I can't do much about that, I'm sorry. My window is closed, so we're just gonna have to deal. Um, oh, I should name the lace. Chinigan. And I need to pull the, the scalp up and round. Lugs. Earring. Left. Earring. Right. There we go. Let's see, let's look up, let's look up bee species in the UK. I know we have honeybees, of course, and bumblebees, but... Minor bee? That's an interesting name. Alright, gimme, give gimme, give gimme give bees. British Beekeepers Association, let's take a look. Oh, you can't see, my bad. <laughs> You're fine, I can't hear anything in the background, I could just be deaf. Fair enough. I do have a noise gate over my, uh, microphone, that's the word. Just for the sake of not blowing everyone's ears out with the fan <laughs> of my PC, but, yeah. Honeybees, solitary bees, give us some solitaries. We've got red-tailed bumblebees. We've got buff-tailed bumblebees. Tree bumblebees. And other solitary bees, such as tawny mining bees. Wool carter bees. Buffish mining bee. They've got buff legs, I'll give them that. Oh. <laughs> Let's just scroll quickly past that. Have you ever seen those like really buff bees with like a lot of fuzz? Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Love fuzzy bees. I forget what species, if any, there are, but 
Yeah. Big bumblebee. This will be. I'm gonna end up with like questionable fan art of. Uh... Oh, there we go. We're we're good. We're good. Oh wow! Look at that. Big B. Big B. Very big B. Very cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted by bees. But yeah, they're really fun. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. I love, I love a lot of animals really, but bees are definitely good. Um, bats I love a lot. Bats I think are very underrated and other, you know. Chubby, ah, nice. Yeah. I think, you know, a lot of, there are a lot of animals that are kind of underrated that people seem to see, find pet, that seem to think are pests, uh, but aren't really. Bats, for one, uh, just because of their reputation for, and I know I'm not really helping that with the, the whole vampire bat thing, but, you know. You know, their the, the reputation for being, you know, vampiric or murderous intent. Well, a lot of the, a lot of bats are actually just fruit bats and they just chill. You know, they like to scream, and that's just how they echolocate. And that might be why some people are afraid of them, I guess. Rat? Yeah, um, rats as well have that reputation of, you know... And I understand why. Mostly they just got a bad rat because they carried fleas that uh, also happened to carry the plague. But they do play an important role in, you know... Oh, sugar, I shouldn't do that. I need to label stuff. Fringe. I keep forgetting I'm doing a model and not just a drawing. I think the people who think that all bats are vampiric are the same people who think Dracula was based on a real story. Yeah. People who don't really have a good connection to... Facts, I guess is the best way to put it? Um... Stay woefully ignorant, perhaps. Which, you know... I wouldn't recommend. I would not recommend, personally. Side burn. You know, I don't want to be too mean to those types of people. Because, you know, I, I get it. Sometimes you just genuinely don't know. And when someone points it out to you, you'd be like, oh. But... Um, yeah, I do think, I'll move the arms as well. Where is that? It's just a random layer. Oh, this is the layer I was drawing on. But, um, yeah, there's a lot, I don't want to be too mean to this house people, because people genuinely are unawares. I was told one time by a family member that, uh, they met someone who was genuinely surprised when they were told the, uh, earth went round the sun. So, there are genuinely people out there who just aren't aware, and that's okay. It's alright to not know everything, but... Don't be mean to the bats. <laughs> don't be mean to the bees, don't be mean to the bats, don't be mean to any animal, really. Rats as well. They're good for... they are pests, but they are also good for other pest control. Um... Uh, it's just unfortunate that, sadly, they happened to carry fleas that carried the plague, so... Yeah. There's that. 50% of those people will stay a bit woefully ignorant of the same people who can be really mean and offensive, and others are like super sweet and genuinely don't know. Yeah. There, there are the types of people who refuse to listen, and there are the types of people who just will listen and genuinely do want to understand, and the people who want to understand I have a lot of respect for. And yeah, rats are adorable. Rats and mice. I kind of get why mice are sort of given a slightly better rep than uh, rats are. Because mice are kind of more... I guess, partially down to like Mickey Mouse and Disney. Um, kind of anthropomorphizing what would otherwise be considered a uh, rodent and a pest. But... You know, rats are rats and mice are very cute. 
and um, a lot of people still consider them to be pests, so... Which is unfortunate. They do play a fairly key role in the whole life cycle, because otherwise, you know, they wouldn't be there. What do, what do you call the little spiky things for hair? Because I have a name for the one on my character that you saw earlier with the, like, the three spikes, because I call that a tri-spike, but... I guess I'll just call it a hair spike. I draw a lot of my characters with the little hair doingies because it's just, it adds a lot of character. What I like to do is kind of Studio Ghibli it a bit and have the little spiky uh, puff up or droop. I want one, but they have super short lifespans and I don't think I could handle that. Also, I feel like we should stop experimenting on mice. Exactly. I feel like lab mice are part of the reason why mice have gotten like a slightly more friendly reputation with people. But that in itself is not good for the mice, you know? It's a shame. And I understand that, you know, there will inevitably some be some level of trial needed on organic life of some kind for, you know, drugs and certain stuff, but like shampoo? Sometimes I do that, but it kind of floats above the head. That's fair. I've done a couple with uh, floating hair spikies before. Yeah, you know. Lab testing is... <sighs> shitty, and I don't support any companies that do that. And I understand, you know. I understand why. To, to, to some degree in clinical trial there will need to be some kind of testing on animals, but... You know... Glorified torture chambers... Yikes. <laughs> I don't recommend looking up the Elon Musk stuff. Um, I don't recommend it, if you're quite sensitive to literal animal abuse. Back hair. This is a very pleasant topic to be on. <laughs> While I'm drawing a character, I do apologise. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and makeup testing on animals. Like, why would you need to test that? Yeah, you know, I don't understand fully. I know it's, you know, in case there's some kind of component in it that might have an allergic reaction, but you can test people. You can test volunteers. I'm, I'm glad that a lot of companies are moving towards cruelty-free, um, which, you know, doesn't necessarily mean, as a, as a disclaimer, does not mean vegan necessarily, because there can still be animal products inside it, but, you know, cruelty-free is good because it means there was no animal testing upon the animals, uh, uh, for clinical trials, rather. <laughs> which is good, I think. I need to draw a separate closed eye. I do this a lot. I do uh, left eye open, and then I'll just do like a flat. I have a guide for this. I'll do a flat line so I can shape it in the Tube Studio. Left eye, eye closed. I'll move these up the ranks a little bit. They can be above the earrings. Ah, there it is. But yeah. This is not where I was expecting the um, stream to go. I've never drawn a VTuber, but I have animated and draw a lot. I know it's not the same, but I can kind of feel your pain. The sheer amount of layers you must have. Oh, buddy. I was also drawing another, like, a uh, relatively... I can show you it, actually. Uh, oh, I just saved it. Good, good. Didn't mean to do that, but I'm not mad. I recently made this. Um, and the amount of layers. The sheer amount of layers. It was horrible. Yeah, you can see here, we, and this is before I've coloured everything. If you want to do shading, that's like an extra, at least an extra two layers on top, which is fun. 
right eye open. Especially with my art style where it's quite difficult to... Oh my god. Do stuff. Oh dear, I didn't mean to paste that. Very effectively. Oh, yes I know. I know stream was just using my microphone, it's okay. My PC having a slight meltdown on me there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on, close those. Move you across. There we go. To be fair though, animating is... I could never, I'm so bad at perspective. I, so am I, but I just desperately practice and hope that that will work. Right eye closed. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> I made, oh, it's not on this computer, but I made this really, really cursed, just, um, like, thing made of bits and pieces, uh, to try and test out V2, V2, so the bloody hell, um, Live 2D, when I was, uh, learning how to use it. It was horrendous looking. I kind of want to bring it back, but in some kind of weird creature way. I already have a couple of characters which are just kind of, like, freaky blobs. So it would work. <laughs> I don't think I've ever shown this character. Well, no, I had I showed it on like my DeviantArt art when I was sixteen, but you know that was when I was sixteen. I'm nineteen now. Oh, poo. <laughs> uh, but I have this little creature who's just kind of like a circle. And they've got like a circle head with either a big eye or a big mouth. I'm mostly practicing skin tones lately because I realized my art needed to be more diverse, and it's just good knowledge to have. Yeah. I've been trying to make my art a bit more diverse as well. Um, it's just good. Uh, oh, have you seen the... <laughs> it's going to sound really weird. Have you seen the flesh cloud? Uh, just this giant blob of different skin tones. Because it's very useful for just colour picking and using. So you don't get stuck in the same, you know, three or four skin tones. I've never heard of that. Okay. I'll see if I can find an image of the flesh cloud for you. Flesh cloud. Here it is. Bop, 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 bop. There you go. If you just um, search up flesh cloud on your preferred search engine, uh, you should be able to find it. But it's basically just a little thing full of skin tones where you can just eyedropper in and find a skin tone. Uh, it's definitely helped me. I've actually I dropped it that for a couple of my characters. Uh, one that immediately springs to mind is DB, but I don't have a picture of her on this PC, sadly. But yes, diversity good. <laughs> and it's always good to... That's going to be so handy. Yeah, it's really handy. It's super useful. This man's skin tone has changed. But I don't know if I have a good enough picture with his new skin tone. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna just close this because I'm embarrassed about my, like, folder and how messy it is. Uh, bear with. I'm gonna quickly. I think the most trouble of having is hair because types of hair are so different. Yeah! I've been uh, doing a couple of practice characters who have, like, dreadlocks and curly hair because I'm terrible at drawing curly hair. It's very good fun, though, to try and draw. Uh, there's the pictures. I am missing pictures. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna do a little color palette at the top. Just you can't see the screen. Don't worry. I I promise. The interesting stuff is happening. Just give it a minute. I I need to just. I'm embarrassed about the state of my folder. Is that the correct? I yeah, push the tones a lot. Ah. Yes, that is correct. Okay, close that. Okay. I found the skin tone, we're good. I'll show you the window again. I'm so bad at braids, dreadlocks, and curly hair as well. Yeah. Braids I do have a bit of trouble with. It's quite difficult. But I do have a character with very long hair, so I tend to use them as a kind of practice. I'm going to have to push that colour out because it is 
very similar to the issue is though that the collar needs to not be too distinct too different rather then that I'm setting people so much that my history is flooded with random people's hair and faces that I've looked up oh dear that's a mood With the eye highlight and the eye and mouth colour. About the only real art advice I can give beyond just to draw lol is um to study faces and stuff like that, but you're already doing that, so it is good. Eyebrows. Okay, yeah, left eyebrow. What's annoying is I've been drawing the same two characters for a while now uh, and I really need to get out of my comfort zone and start drawing my other characters more. I've got one character called Maureen who I love more than death, they are amazing, but I haven't drawn them in like six months. <laughs> Alistair from Has Been Hotel vibes. Yeah. <laughs> it just struck me how much, yeah. I, the joke with this character was that he was a Tumblr sexy man, so... There you go, there's the confirmation. Oh dear. I'm guilty of doing that too. Yeah. <laughs> I've got, you know, I doodle my other characters, but, you know, that's not the same as actually drawing them. One second, I'm, I do apologise. <coughs> oh, a tickle in the back of my throat. Don't worry, I've not got the lurgy. Oof. Not that it would matter, you're online, but still. <laughs> I should probably say I love to death rather than I love more than death. I think I have a sketchbook filled with just the same OC. Yeah. It's like half my sketch- uh, half of my drawings folder at the moment. Sorry, there are people outside my door. <laughs> Half of my drawings folder at the moment is just the same three people. There's like DB, there's this guy, and then there's the character you saw earlier. Um, with a gajillion names that I haven't f fixed on one for. But yeah, there you go. Oh, I just realised I've almost done the line art. Nice. Need to do the mooth. Ah, sorry. Similar thing to here, I want to do a kind of fairly neutral face. They say doing a complete, just crooked smile. There we go. And then we do mouth closed. I don't normally do the kind of like mouth teeth situation, I just kind of have a mouth closed and a mouth open. It's funny and sad because my OC is just in the same pose and making the same face in all of the draw- MOOD! <laughs> the, the character you saw earlier, I always draw them in just like- hang on, let me- I'll, I'll do like a really rough sketch to show you. Like three quarters pose. Uh, this is very, very quick and sloppy. I just draw them constantly like this, like big smile, big slasher smile. <laughs> it's just all I draw. I do really need to diversify the the portfolio, I suppose, just for the sake of you know not stagnating, but also, haha, -ha, funny. Slash a smile, go burr. <laughs> so while well, I think about it, let's let's have a crack at drawing Marine again from memory. Three quarter pose is like the only pose I use because every time I try to change it, it somehow just goes back to three quarter. Yeah. 
I can do profile, I can do front on. Uh, I can't do three quarters from the back though. And uh, front on requires on me have uh, requires me having a mirror. So that I don't, you know, mess up uh, dimensions and perspective and whatnot. And this is not that big. Hairlines. This is also where I stumble. Okay, I see. I think I see, I think I see, I think I see. Oh, too long. There we go. I also, like, don't draw the torso and make, like, a triangle from the shoulders just under the chest and slap a hoodie on it. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually had to very deliberately, uh, in the past few years, go through all of my characters and give them unique styles of clothing just so I avoid putting everyone in the hoodie. <laughs> it's a problem. Uh, that's kind of the reason why both of my characters have such a weird uh, sense of style, is, like, you know... Mag wears jumpers and, you know, other such stuff, and B is like full-on business casual all the time, just so I can avoid putting him in a hoodie again. That's about as close as I can get from memory. The Marine's got like a kind of big ol' life ring pattern around their jacket. It's a big puffer jacket. Yeah. It's just so easy, yeah. Big shapeless hoodies and jumpers. That's another thing as well. I'm really guilty of like, it's not a, it's not a hoodie, therefore it's fine, but it's a jumper instead. <laughs> so it's like the exact same thing of just whoop, straight down silhouette. Just, it's not a hoodie. <laughs> What was this? Oh! I know what this was. <laughs> Stuffing my face. Blah, 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 blah. I've got biscuits with me, so I apologize if you can hear chewing. Oh, mouths. I used to do just the kind of, um, bat mouth, you know what I mean? The, like, proper cartoony. But it doesn't work. My art style's been getting more details. It's a hoodie attached to pants, exactly. It's just, like... Boom! <laughs> you know? So easy. What's the guilty of doing the heart and then making the two detached lines making a V? Yeah. Um, oh gosh, should I show it? I'm partially tempted to show my old DeviantArt. Um, 
because a lot of the artwork on there is definitely sort of oh why is there an nft thing go away do not recommend me this stuff um a lot of the stuff on there is like years old and uh, you can see the progression of my style i suppose Although, at the same time, you know, old art. <laughs> Mouths. I've kind of... I don't... Hmm. I, I've kind of moved away from the cartoony style a bit. My style is definitely still cartoony, but I'm getting more into, like... What do you call it? Western anime, I guess is the best way I can describe it, of like, that kind of level of detail, but it's fairly, you're fairly certain it's not anime. There you go, teeth. 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 Little pokey boys. There we go. Tongue. I need to move the the neck, that's the word. Neck, 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 neck. Beyond collar. Ah. What's layer two? Or back hair. Or the really sharp knife chin. Yeah. I mean <laughs> it's smoothed out now, but for sure. If I were drawing B with a sharp chin back in the day, I would be doing the anime knife chin. Did I actually do that? Okay. I have to look now, because uh, I've, I've just remembered it exists. Hold on a minute. Am I still logged in on DeviantArt? I haven't posted on there in months. I am. I'm still alive. I'm still... Oh. Gallery. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. That's gay. <laughs> Looking at my old art and all of it's like closeted me living out my dreams of basically anything. Oh, that's cute. I don't use that character anymore, I should. You can't see my screen. <laughs> I just remembered you can't see my screen. Hold on. Bam. Hold. Hold that work. That is marine, but marine looks different now. I was like 14 when I made that, my god. I think. Maybe 15. It's very hard to tell. But yeah, still closeted there. Pre-transition. Maggie. Trying to figure out what the fuck is happening. That's... Nearly there. There was one I was looking for in particular. Oh, now we're getting post closet. Okay, we've missed it. Is it in my stash? No, there it is. Oh, we had a square chin. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Okay. I'm not used to that. He's always had a weird knife chin, and I I don't remember him not having a weird knife chin, but apparently he didn't. Fair enough. Yeah, it's always been kind of rounded. Wow. Fair enough. That's... Oh my god. How long ago was this? Oh, 2018. My god. Almost a year ago today. Uh, a year? One year. Indeed, yes. Oh dear. You're one of the few who did not make weaponized chins. Yes. I was very, um... Lucky in that I did not do weaponized chins, but... Uh, definitely there was a phase while I was trying to figure out character design that I kind of, I think I kept it offline, but there was definitely a couple of weaponized chins. Oh my god, Void Bastards. I love Void Bastards, but yeah, that's how it always is. Nothing past up there is a bit much for me. At least it's one of the games I can actually do on normal. Besides the ships that often tend to have a washed out palette in order to make things stick out. So I tried to incorporate that in the drawing besides desaturating everything, besides the blood and the side bodies of so. 
There you go. Little, little blast from Spooky's past, I guess. Oh man. Yeah, if I go like really far back in the records, you'll definitely see some old stuff. I don't know why I was such a fan of the like long ears, the kind of elfy ears back in the day. But I don't really do that much anymore. This one just titled Ah. I'm getting distracted. I do apologize, but I just want to look back. I haven't looked at this old DA in years. Look, old artwork. It's him. There you go. You get to see a little character evolution. All right, that's enough out of my DeviantArt. <laughs> yes, his chin is... I'm surprised his chin got pointier. Oh, the mouth is in the wrong place. Where's the mouth? Layer 4. Move the mouth. No. Uh, I have a really bad habit, which partially comes from... Uh, just not knowing how to symmetry. That's so much better than mine. Then again, I was a gender fluid pansexual. I was drawing emo girls because I was hashtag brocken. Little did I know I was just closeted. Ooh. <laughs> Firstly, that's a big mood. Secondly, I think I do have some uh, emo stuff. Way back. <gasps> yes, I do. Okay, hang on a minute. Yeah. The, 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 like, Person who has the like super powerful gender fluid pansexual emo girl kind of stuff definitely was closeted, at least in my experience. Because uh, that's one of them people. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see. I also uh, slightly went through that, like, you know, I feel like a couple of people had this where you um, watched like artist cringe videos and stuff like that. Because I did, unfortunately. And uh, it did kind of shape the way I uh, looked at my characters. Oh my word. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there you go. I loved those. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Little did they know I was one of the people that they may have called cringe. But you know what? I was living my best life. Look at the... That's the eyes as well. One of them is... Like, a weird, freaky, mucky eye. Yeah, I I was um, proper into that, like, artist cringe stuff. So I was quite self-conscious about the uh, whole gender fluid pansexual stuff. That and, you know, it, sadly I got sucked into the uh, anti-SJW pipeline for a little while. But I got out. That's the one thing. It always starts with the half-animal people too. Yeah! Yeah. I have, like, there's like a... Pegasus, I think it was meant to be. That was one of my friends. That's also one of my friends who was a cat. And the- oh my god. The Dan and Phil t-shirt. Oh dear. And the, like, Black Parade jacket. You can smell the year this kit. This was 2017? Oh my god. This feels like 2014. Yeah, god. I- definitely the character design did not change in the intervening three years that I was thinking about this character. <laughs> there you go. Little blast from my past. I... yeah. The half-animal stuff I am still guilty of, to be fair. Um... I think a good three of my main characters in this story I'm developing have some kind of animal trait. I'm not trying to get every detail right, I would zoom in so close it became pixel art. Yeah! You get like really self-conscious about your artwork and then you just constantly go through like, I must not leave any gaps. I must not leave any gaps because then I will be hashtag cringe. <laughs> oh dear. A lot of my life was spent, you know, just... Ironically enough, my line art quality was not great, but hey, you know. I was a kid, it's alright. Um, but I was like proper trying my best to be super detailed about it. <laughs> what? Oh, what did I do? Ah! 
I see what I did. There we go. That's uh, that's some um, hmm. <sighs> mouths. I have such a trouble with mouths. I have um also got a trouble with like you know. There's a very thin line in my artwork between like you know, lazy smile and murderous grin, <laughs> because of the way I draw mouths. There's like you know. That and then there's like. Well. That. <laughs> it's very hard. Do you ever do the thing where you traced art and pass it off as your own, and then when people praise you, you feel so guilty and then throw it away or delete it? I never posted it online, but I did trace over, like, bases and stuff like that, and then feel really bad. <laughs> Mouths are hard for no reason, yeah. I would do that thing where, like, uh, I, I would feel guilty about tracing, but I'd still do it. I'd still, like, go around. Tracing that way. Because, you know, it's it's a good way to practice, you know, lines, making lines clean and drawing stuff like that. But the issue is... You feel, you know, it's... it's, it's you always feel really awful for it afterwards, because it's like, well, I stole this artwork, you know? <laughs> but, you know, good thing was we were kids, so it was alright, really. Oh, I want to do the dimple! I want to do the dimple, but I need to have this mouth be kind of... be f flexible, I guess. So I want to make it, like, you know, go down and stuff. But also, dimple. Dimples are cute. Ah, <sighs> oh well. I'll have to be dimpleless. I still trace, but I do it for hands. And if people stop praising, I say I trace it, and they get all mad and start cussing me out, and I'm like, I use it for figuring out how to make my lights work. Yeah! You know, as long as, you know, you're not trying to pass off the artwork as your own, as in, like, you know, you can trace hands and stuff like that if it's, like, a hand pose. That's fair enough, as long as it's not, like, a full piece you're passing off. I don't think many people will care. The issue is everyone's on such a hair trigger at the moment. They're like, ah, you traced artwork. How dare you? The whole DeviantArt rigmarole from, like, 2016, I want to say definitely uh shaped everyone's view of tracing and stuff like that and like bases and kiss dolls and stuff like that but what's really interesting to me yeah you know hands are difficult and it's very difficult to just straight up draw a hand i'd absolutely agree with you there what's really interesting is and i don't mean to throw tiktok under the bus but it's just happens to be applicable um tiktok kind of revived that trend of like really hardcore going after people for fairly weak crimes that's if you could probably call them i don't know how else to say it you know there was a whole drama with like you know i won't name them i won't name them and shame them but they're a person who's like you know trying to recover from they're they're, they're you know trying to recover from a bad past and they're, they're doing pretty well and then all of a sudden tiktok didn't like their artwork so they just got completely brigaded and everyone just brought up their past and it's like thanks guys preach appreciate that slash s for clarification <laughs> but yeah you know it's a shame but thankfully uh i think people are people will eventually learn it's a cycle sadly and it will continue happening but at the same time People will learn, and that's good. I've missed the eyes somehow. Layer 3. Snoz. And they hated on them because they were a Dream SMP fan. That's so toxic. Oh yeah! For the, the, the art style guy, yeah. I don't know anything about Dream SMP. All I know is, like, there are some people from Soot House in it. <laughs> and I used to watch Soot House when I was a, a wee one. But, um, yeah, you know, it's- people can like things without explicitly supporting, like, any hashtag problematic things that the- the original people said. People can like Harry Potter and not support JK Rowling in the same way that people can like the Dream SMP and not support 
I forget which one it was that was a bit controversial, but one one of them lot was apparently being a bit controversial. I think as well they actually said that they kind of don't support that person anymore anyway, so <laughs> TikTok's just wild, man. Used to be a huge fan because I got so, but I stopped because I got so much hate. But no, I and so now I watch films of Minecraft every now and then. That's fair enough. I haven't really been in the Minecraft community since about twenty fourteen. Um, I was one of the like kids who used to watch I Ballistic Squid and Stampy Longhead. They were the the you know proper OG Minecraft YouTubers. Besides, um, is it Mamba Jumbo? I think Mamba Jumbo's been around for a while as well. People like that. Um, so I'm afraid I don't know. Uh, I'm a bit of a boomer when it comes to Minecraft people, but. <laughs> you know. As long as they're not being dicks. As long as they're not being dicks. That's, that's all I have to say on the matter, really. I understand, you know, I get why people. As a person who also was in the, like, Dan and Phil fandom in 2015, seeing the kind of Dream Stan drama go off again. It's it's very reminiscent of that, like being in the PH fandom when I was a wee one. They constantly got flamed for being um obnoxious, and I think that was the issue with the Dream SMP fandom, I think. Um and it's like, you know, people are treating it like it's this new major cultural phenomenon, and I'm looking on at it like, yep, sure, buddy. I never watched that. I watched Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and PewDiePie. You can already tell what childhood I had from that, Olomeo. Oh, I did also watch Mark Jack and uh, PewDiePie as well. I, I think I was like proper into YouTube when I was a wee one. Um, it's a little bit difficult for me to remember just because I have memory issues, but um, yeah. I think one of the first videos I ever saw from Markiplier was uh, the Sonic.exe video, <laughs> which was not a good one to get into, but, you know. Oh, I was gonna shade. Th oh well, uh, it's fine. I can actually wait. the The lines are solid black. I can just shade over the top. It's fine. <laughs> Move the hair. Yeah, definitely. Mine was FNAF, I think. One of those. It, it might have been FNAF. It might have been Sonic. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, it was a horror game. It might- actually, it might have even been Slender, I don't know. I saw Dan and Phil played Slender as well. That was a lot of fun. I liked getting spooked as a kid, which is funny, because I also really wasn't good with handling horror. I was a very wimpy kid, but I loved watching people get scared and getting scared by the stuff myself. I also don't know why I remember this, but I vividly remember watching PewDiePie play Flappy Bird. Oh, I remember, I do not remember PewDiePie playing Flappy Bird, but what I do remember is Markiplier playing Flappy Fedora, I think it was called. And the Milady jokes, which I didn't get at the time, but now I do. <laughs> and it's just, oh damn. Revisiting that, I was cackling the entire way through. All oh, the colours are so dark. Why did they decide on this palette? For my boy, it's so dark. Ah, the trauma from stumbling across happy tree friends is something I will never recover from. Oh, don't hug me, I'm scared was the one in my school. But yes, happy tree friends was definitely one of those ones where like, you, you stumble across it as a kid and it's like, never again. I will never watch this again and then you go back a week later. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood splatter on the tie. I forgot my own character design for a minute. <laughs> Ignore me. I am very smart. That was so scary, oh my god. My older sister made her watch Don't Happy and Scared and Alone in her ex-boyfriend's basement when I was like nine. Why the basement? <laughs> well, I suppose because, you know, spooky scary, but... 
Yeah, god, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared was interesting. I like horror a lot, as you might be able to tell by some of the stuff on my, uh, games list. I love horror. Um, part of that is because I was exposed to horror when I probably shouldn't have been. Oops. <laughs> but, you know, because that was this room at the time. Oh, that makes more sense then. <laughs> Yeah, so otherwise it's a very strange uh, room to just host a video party. <laughs> Actually, though, to be fair though, basements in general are fine. I think they just... I'm not used to basements existing. I adore Harrow. Analog is my... Harrow. Mm -hmm. Horror. Analog is my top favourite. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. I... When did Local 58's first video come out, Contingency? Because that was a... Banger. That really rekindled my interest in horror. It kind of petered out after the Five Nights of Freddy's series went a bit wild. But, um, yeah, Local 58 uh, just kickstarted it like Ekver. You know, it was a gateway into stuff like Ekver and um, Marble Hornets. I already was aware of it, but I got more into it uh, through that and Gemini Home Entertainment and the Mandela Catalog, I believe it's called. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Love it a lot. What was I going to look up? Oh yeah. I just want the colours for the trans flag. I might put them with like a red overtone just so they help blend into the design a bit more so they don't poke out too much. But, yes. There we go. Just want a little snippet. Walton Files was my first. Okay, the Mandela catalog was so unnerving for no reason. Yeah, a lot of biblical imagery. Very spooky. Um, which I'm all for biblical imagery and horror because I grew up Christian. <laughs> but yeah, well spooky. It had it had no right to be nearly as spooky as it was. Did I just merge the light? Okay. Where's the light up then? Where's the light not layer? <laughs> Oh, there, right. Yeah, The Walton Files was really good as well. I liked The Walton Files a lot when I watched it. <laughs> I also like that, um... What the fuck was it? Um, Felix, where the fuck are my children? Doesn't help that I watched it at 1am! Uh, yeah. You know, that's a perfect recipe for freaking the hell out at stuff, is playing it at an ungodly hour of the night. There we go. Trans flag. He listens to Cave Town. Where's the... where's the... oh! It's on that layer, that makes sense. Little, little subtle pride. Then we'll do a little, see if I can kind of help it blend in by just giving it um, a red overlay. Yeah, that kind of works. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Cave Town is something I listen to all the mayor. Yeah. I, if I recall correctly, that's the code for Are You Trans? Is like, do you listen to Cave Town? Yes. I, oh my god. I, another thing about like childhood nostalgia and finding stuff when I was a kid and not fully understanding it. I found This Is Home before I knew what like the concept of being trans was, really. Like, I knew what it was, but I didn't realise it was something that, you know, everyone could be. If that makes any sense. Um, and I, like, I listened to it and I was like, I vibe really hard with this and I don't know why. And then I realized why a few years later, but I came back to the song because everyone was like, ah, the trans anthem. And I was like, hang on, I know this. Oh, it's all coming together, boys. Look at this. Oh, he's so pale, but that's the point. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I need to do his collar. Oh, jeez. Jeez. I d <laughs> I coloured <laughs> the collar as a part of the vest when the collar is a separate layer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. I've got to magic wand all of this stuff now. I joke all the time about how I'm the epitome of liquid. I am the fluid. <laughs> yeah. My uh, joke tends to be like, ah, my gender is none. I have no pronouns. Please do not refer to me for um, a gender. Don't forget the trans flag. There we go. No. Oh, no. I, I, I know what I've done and I'm mad about it. Hang on. Need to cut that and paste it under the collar. And then cut that and paste it under the collar. Okay, we're good. People ask what my pronouns are. I'm like, I don't know, pick one. That's fair. I'm sort of the same. My pronouns, I've got my pronouns on the top left, uh, they, he, and nay, nem, but as far as it goes, I don't really care. Just call me whatever. Just do not for a second assume that I have a gender. Color. And I need to just kind of make a blob of black at the back of the vest, just to kind of help. When it turns, not look bad. But yeah, they, he uh, are my technically preferred, but like I've got preferred, acceptable, and that's it. I, I don't have any, please, for the love of God, don't use these kinds of things. There we go, we've got a glob of black at the back of that, and nope, it has not disrupted the line art, excellent. Then we get they offended and asked what I was born at. It's like, why does it matter? Yeah. I've never fully understood that. I know why people say it, but people are stupid. <laughs> I need to add the face back in. And the ears, where are the ears? Lugs. Yeah, it's weird. I, especially the people like trying to be respectful by asking the pronouns and then getting pissy when you say, oh, I don't know, just pick anything. It's like, I, I've just given you a free out to call me whatever the fuck you want. Why are you getting mad? Thankfully at the moment I go to a fairly uh, accepting university, so I don't get misgendered that much. Um, but unfortunately, I'm in a flat full of um, cis boys when I'm like, A, a not even a transmasculine necessarily, a transmasculine person. And B, very obviously not cis. <laughs> and they're all very respectful and it was all very fun, but there was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of confusion when I first walked in, because I have- I wear my hair quite long. Uh, one of my favourite things to do is go to TikTok lies and ask pronouns, and mostly all white men get so offended and start ranting. Yeah. It's very funny seeing people genuinely get upset at you for, like, asking for pronouns. No, they'll, they, will even, they will inevitably be some, like, throwing around of the arsler, and then, my pronouns are normal, and it's like, shut up, shut the fuck up. Oh, no, not under the, there we go. Okay. Oh, sorry, if you heard that, I'm just clicking my uh, thing. I always have that accent too, yes. 
The Deep South is a fun time. It's weird. I, I'm not American in the slightest. I'm very, very English. Uh, as much as I'd rather not be, to be fair, but you know. That's, uh, that's them. Them's the breaks, as they say. Um, I, I, but I still see all of this stuff happening. Because, you know, the internet's very US centric. Just, you gotta love America. Yeah. Fun times. People genuinely like getting upset at the concept of universal healthcare when it's like something we already have over here and nobody seems to have gotten too mad. That's a lie. Actually, the conservatives are trying to get rid of universal healthcare. Anyway, <laughs> free lesson in politics for you is there. The Conservative Party in the UK doesn't really like people having money who aren't the Conservative Party. Yeah, I'm American and I hate America. That's valid. A lot of Americans hate seem to hate America, and for decent reasons. Not as though I can complain much because I'm English and we don't exactly have the best, you know, government over here either, but we at the very least are self-aware about how annoying we are. I'm British and I hate Britain, so you know. But everyone in Britain hates Britain, so it works. It's because of the old white boomers, yeah, sadly. I know a lot of old white boomers are quite nice, actually, a bit. God, one bad apple, you know, just spoils a whole bunch. You can't trust any of them now. Uh, Gorsium Blur, there we go. It took me a very long while. I have a lot of streamers that I am, like, really supportive of and I love their videos and stuff like that but it took me a while to warm up to them because I was just so paranoid coming into their streams of like are they gonna say something that I really really am gonna hate but you know thankfully a lot of them seem to be quite chill so that's nice it's a, it's an issue over here in England as well some people still hold quite iffy views which sucks but thankfully a lot of people are now becoming more aware so Things be changing. And the people who refuse to change, they'll die anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> not by my hands, to clarify. <laughs> I'm not planning on killing anyone anytime soon, I just mean, you know, generally. Also, there's some people you watch are super fun and cool in videos and streaming, then you go to the Twitter and they're just the worst. Oh, yeah. I recently remember I watched this. There's this really cool animator called Aim Kid. She does, um, like, animations of Lemon Demon songs and stuff like that. And uh, she recently posted about how she, like, followed a speedrunner and, like, thought their content was really cool and then they platformed hate, <laughs> which sucked. It's always Twitter, yeah. I don't know what it is about Twitter, but it just brings out the worst in people. So it's an interesting sight, to be certain. Let's do the hair spike. I forgot the hair spike. Ah. I I do love the parts of Twitter that are very, you know, focused on being nice. You know, there are a lot of places on Twitter that are very good, but. You know, you can get that in troves just going to fucking Tumblr or something, you know. I often find it's a lot better to just go to somewhere where I know I'll be alright rather than trying to gamble it. Which, I know, is unfortunate because it can mean I get trapped in an echo chamber, so I do try and diversify a lot, but... Virgin Tea talks into where it all goes down. Yeah, it's funny, Twitter used to make fun of Tumblr for being, like, the discourse pit, and now Twitter is the discourse pit. Not to say there's not discourse on Tumblr, but at least, you know, the site seems to be quite self-aware about it. And is mostly just kind of making jokes at its expense rather than really, really doubling down. Let's see. Get rid of the snores and lugs. 
I just want to kind of sweep this round so that we have a decent base. So if the hair wiggles too much, the front hair, then we don't end up with a bald spot. Okay, we're alright. Clear is the place to go if you want to get degraded and hated on just because you blinked at something the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame. I don't like throwing around the word oversensitive, but I do feel like there's a lot of performative activism on Twitter that just seeks to silence everyone who disagrees with you, rather than to actually platform activism. Um, come here for more of Maggie's hot takes, <laughs> but, you know, it it's... It's a shame, really, because Twitter was a very nice place, especially for artists, I found. I love I love following artists on Twitter, <laughs> the occasional times I use it. But, you know, I don't- I can't- I don't really feel like I can anymore, because it's just... hell. I might put the ears behind the head, layer-wise, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Hang on. But real quick, ear tip blushies. I've got her. Not that Instagram is any better. Yeah, if I want to put my... Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Anywhere that's kind of in meta, or generally speaking... Anywhere <laughs> that isn't, like, a site that has a reputation for being dead so nobody goes there much. Besides, like, 50 people <laughs> who still use it. Unless it's that kind of site, it tends to not be fun. And uh, that could very much be my own personal bias towards a uh, funny tea app, but... Yeah. There's the... Oh! Oh no! I <laughs> And I need to get the... Somebody's rattling up a storm. And get the face out the way. Yeah, after I've done the flat colours for this, I think I'll have to log off for the night. Because it's getting up to 10pm and I want to be up bright and early for my... Do I have a 9am start tomorrow? Let me find out. Thank you, timetable. It's only at 10, but I still want to sleep a fair amount, because uh, sadly I've lost a lot of sleep throughout the week. My flatmates are quite loud. Oh, yeah, the, um... Yeah, the stealing art things. That was a big thing, like, a few years ago. It's still happening? I don't like that. That's that's not that's not good. C'est pas bien. Oh. Where cheering is this at? Oh no. Yeah, I just... I tend to sort of stay off of social media in general now, and yeah, you definitely need sleep. If you get DM'd and asked to post up, it's just, I don't believe that. Some people will, but the rest of the art on there, especially if it's from like a big account, for sure stolen and like reposted. And someone, they'll, they'll claim in like the comments, someone will go to them and be like, hey, you stole my art, what the fuck? And then they'll be like, ah, you see, I'm, I'm giving you free promotion, you should thank me. And it's like, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. But yeah, sadly, um, read the whole slip, slip, slip situation, yes. The sleep situation. Um, my flatmates are absolutely free to do whatever they want with their evenings. I am not one to judge. But they threw a lot of loud parties. They threw some loud parties, and uh, then after that, I just couldn't get to sleep for a bit. For my own personal reasons. I don't really remember why exactly. So, I'm quite... I'm not fully sleep-deprived, but 
You can tell I'm a little bit loopy in my previous stream this uh, week. Today. Uh, yeah. So I need to- I need to rest. I need to do my rest and relaxation. It'll help my mental health. What I don't want to do now, I want to- whoa. So you can see I've got the eye, and then I need the iris. And for that I need red. I forgot his scars. Oh no. He has a lip scar as well. Oh, I forgot the lip scar. Oh no. Uh, face. Ha ha ha. ha. I actually just followed you today. I've never watched you before. Thank you. I don't know if I heard the follow notification through. I don't think I have follow- I don't think- oh, bum, I didn't have my alert box on. Sorry, I didn't notice, but thank you very much for the follow. Um, I normally stream games, but I like drawing, so <laughs> I'll probably stream some artwork on there if there's interest, which there seems to be. But yeah. Left eye slayer. It's all right. You don't have to look through my backlog or anything like that, though. Um, you don't have to sort of know explicit lore about me or anything. I just happen to be here, basically. But yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my flatmates have been quite loud the past few days, so I'm a tad loopy. I shine. There we go. Oh, the... <sighs> I just put all the effort into the eye, and I have to undo it because I didn't do the scars right. Oh, dear. Also join your Discord. Oh, thank you. It's all right. You don't have to, but I do very much. You know, it's very... It's still very appreciated. Like, raked across... I should know basically how to draw this character from memory, essentially. I've been drawing them for so long, but... Man. It's surprisingly difficult. Without missing a few ah, key details. There we go. If you have one. Oh, I do, yes. I think it really interesting. Oh, aw, thank you. I'll be definitely be sure to... Uh stick around. I'm streaming for certain on Monday. Um, hang on a minute, I do have a Discord. Oh, there you go. Hopefully that invite should work. We've had some issues with it before, but that should work. But, um, yeah, for sure I'll be streaming tomorrow, oh, not tomorrow, Monday at 4pm. I'm not sure what I'll be streaming. I might be streaming Stardew Valley. Um, I'll see if I have any energy tomorrow to do streams, because I've got a big old lab session that I also have to do uh, for computing. Nice, thank you. I'll wave hi to you in just a sec. Uh, slayer, slayer, iris, iris, that's the word. Layer 2. I love Stardew. Yeah, Stardew's a lot of fun. Um, I sometimes play it with my friend as well, Sky Unirose. We do dual streams every Thursday. Um, yeah, last time we did golf with our friends and we had a, an interesting time. And then I do every Wednesday at 6, I do Freddy Hell Knight, which is just me playing a random FNAF game because I just think they're neat. <laughs> He's bored! It's just... Just looked up and it's like Hitman. Do you play it on PC or Twitch? Um, Stardew Valley or FNAF? Because I play on PC, the Stardew. I play it on Steam. Uh, left Iris. Oh, Switch, right. Um, yeah, I play on PC for Stardew and FNAF. 
I was actually surprised. Uh, I went to buy Pokemon Legends Arceus because I'm impatient. <laughs> I couldn't wait for a sale. And um, I, that's when, how I found out that uh, FNAF is on Switch. It was genuinely surprising. But yeah, it's cool to see that it's there, I suppose. Now that the, the younglings can get to enjoy a game from uh, when I was a little kiddo. I play on PC as well. Nice. I've been... I don't know why, I've got a very bad habit of picking off nail polish. So I've just been going at my pinky finger for a couple of seconds there. Whoops. Urban... Sweet. Okay, that's that one. Now I need to do the slayer. The iris, rather. I've already done the slayer. I've been going... No, because I did that too, yeah. <laughs> it's a very bad habit, but it is also... It prevents me from, like, biting them or something, so... If it works. So I've been considering for a while... So, like, canonically he has a glass eye, right? I've been thinking, do I give him heterochromia and make the eye, like, black? Or blue? Because he did... Oh, he was originally... Uh, one second. Pull up my deviant art again. Oof. Uh, bop, bop, bop. Boink. If I go back a couple of years, you'll be able to see that he had one blue eye and one red eye. And I don't know if I want to bring that back because of his glass eye or if I just keep them both red. I find all that, please, sir. Please, I would like to see all that work of the vamp. There he is. You can kind of see it there. It's more grey in this because of the way I shaded it, but yeah. The button nose. Oh man. Um, I kind of learned how to draw from Lavender Town, so I took a lot of her advice on how to. There he is, the first one, the very first drawing of him. Oh, he had a brown eye in that one. Interesting. And I changed it to red later, I think. Look how big the feet are. But yeah. What if he did half blue on top and red sort of leaking into it? Ooh, that would be interesting. Like a red-blue gradient? Yeah, I want to do that. I'll use the blue from the little transpin as well just to help pull that into the design a bit more. Uh... There we go. And then we can do a gradient, because we have a gradient tool. He. <laughs> oh, you can't see the screen. <laughs> I forgot. You've, there's still Firefox up. There you go. Oh, there you go. Nightbot's just timed the uh, Discord again. There you go, look at that. That'll do. Did a little high. Oh, hang on, I have to do the highlight on a separate layer. I don't want to do it the way I normally do. There we go. And then, oh. Highlight on. And then I might do little little highlights. There we go. Boom. That looks nice, actually. That looks really nice. The eyes are a bit lopsided. One's a bit shorter than the other, but I can fix that. I have a transform tool, so it'll be all right. Oh no, it's one eye's a bit thinner. Ooh. Come on, buddy. There you go. Yeah! Look at that. That's cool. 
and you can't decide to smash them together and hope it works, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's how I do most of my artwork. And I might redo that eye, actually. Oh, I should make sure that the irises as well are like full irises, because I need them to look around. So that one's fine. Or maybe I might- hang on. Let's see how it looks with the blue first. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's too pale a blue. Although well, that does kind of work for the glass eye effect. There we go. Actually, the, with the just blue it looks alright. I might be happy with just the blue, but I'll try adding a little bit- <gasps> Ooh, I have overlay. Okay, let me try. Do an overlay layer and then I'll try and add like a little splattery effect to it. Oh, that's made it pink. <laughs> I'll just do normal and then like... It'll be fine. What if you did it with a dark blue dripping into the red like a liquid effect? Ooh, that's a good point. Do red with... I'll try and stick to the colour on the pin just for the sake of adding that to the, the unity of the image, I guess, but... Hang on, oh. We might be getting somewhere with this approach. I need to try and make it look hollow. I don't need to, but I want to. Let's see. Oh. And then do the little shiny. And I people in there. If I can get it to be a thin line. Please. Oop. There we go. That'll do. Yeah. Oh, it might be. Alright, I'll try it with just the, the blue and then I'll zoom out and I'll see if I like that. Sometimes the simplest solution is the best solution. Or I just keep the eye red, but where's the fun in that? Oh, hang on, I said <laughs> get off the clipping mask. The main thing I'm having issue with is just pen pressure. I can't figure out how I managed to get that so slim before. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. All that looks alright as it is. I might add some extra features. Well, of like um, I don't know. Maybe he can turn it red or something. Don't know. We'll see. The eyebrows are fine as they are, but I might move the right eyebrow up a bit. There you go. Oh, it's coming together. Look at him go. I need to draw the sideburn. A colour the sideburn. Simplicity at its finest, Hog Champ. <laughs>
Take this off. I'll be perfectly honest, I like shading my characters if I'm to do, you know, like VTUB modeling stuff. But I might be alright with it just looking like this. I don't know. There we go. I'll have to move the. Ugh. This will be a nightmare to rig, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I'm owning all of my decisions. Hashtag girl boss. I don't know why I said- oh, I know why I said that. It was from a Strange Aeons video. I think they were doing, um, yeah, they were making a lasagna or something. I don't remember. I just like the fucking girl boss meme. I smell fire. Alright. <laughs> When this is done, I'm gonna quickly run downstairs and see if my flatmates have set the place of light ablaze. I don't think they have, I think it's just something burnt downstairs, but you know, just to make sure. There we go. Oh, are we done? We might be done, lads. We might be done. Oh, the fringe is very thick. I will have to change the fringe later, but it's okay. Where's his arms? Armies, wingies. Oh, I missed. Oh no! I forgot to do the mouth. I forgot to do the mouth. Oh dear. Gaslight gatekeep and girl boss. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I think I knocked my mic there. Uh, oh no, the blush is interfering with the... Is it that far into the face? My god. That looks really good. Oh, thank you. I'm very proud of it. I like drawing this character a lot. His hair's a nightmare, but I love his design overall. Oh, uh, can I move the mouse? Yeah, it looks better with the darker colour. Alright, there we go! Woo! I'll change the front fringe a bit, but yeah, look at him. He's looking good. I'm really proud of that, actually. And then there's the palette at the top. Uh, yeah, I'll quickly give his fringe a uh, shift. I could never. You could, absolutely! Honestly, the the only reason why I'm sort of able to do the VTuber stuff is just because I started. I I had a crack at it for the laughs, and um, I, if you want, I can show you the first VTuber model. It's still loaded on my PC, <laughs> but um, it looked very different to the one that you saw earlier. If you were there, I'm not sure. Um. Yeah. I realize more and more I'm giving him like a weird angled bob which he doesn't have. He has like whatever you want to call this, like a emo bags, but you know what? It's fine. Oh piss! And because of course I don't have the hairline as a guide. Oh, I'm stressed. It'll be all right though. It'll turn out okay. Yes. <laughs> All will be well. Hmm. And then it vanished into- oh, but it's only for a bit because it lagged. But then it vanished into the Shadow Realm, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately I had to uh, banish my uh, model into the Shadow Realm because it was very laggy. If I am to do VTube Studio stuff, I think I'll just have to do very quick cameos because uh, my PC could never. <laughs> it really struggled, but you know. 
Which is interesting, I think it is partially down to the software I'm using, which is Streamlabs. It's quite uh, CPU intensive. If I were to use something like OBS, it might be a bit better, but I don't know, I'm used to using Streamlabs now, I don't want to change. Which is funny, I used OBS the first time around, and then I just moved to Streamlabs. I'll keep it like this, actually. I think my main issue is with this tendril, and if I just kind of... Oh, I, I don't know, this is the thing. Keep the fringe as a guide, very rough guide. I'm push that in a bit. Eh, that could work. Might have to. Go back and rub out some stuff. Yeah, hold on. There we go, now you can see his eyes a bit better. I had to stream, but my PC could not handle it. I am on Windows 10. Yeah! I've been struggling with Streamlabs for ages. I don't know why. The first stream I ever did with uh, the labs specifically, besides one like Minecraft stream that I think I did many moons ago, uh, was like one with my friend Sky Unirose, who is a very cool person. Um, and we like we sat in the Phasmophobia lobby for half an hour trying to figure out why the frames were dropping so hot. It was a fun time. Oh no, I'm, I'm cutting away his layers. I don't mean to. Is it good? Are we done? Okay, I need to step away there. We did it! Woo! Yeah, there you go. That's about right. I'll I'll fix up the fringe later if I think to. But yes, that'll do for tonight. If you'd watched it, you would have been watching a slideshow. Oh, God, mood. I've had so many times where I've looked over at uh, Streamlabs and it says, Frame skipped 99%. And it's like, oh, cool. Let's save this so that it doesn't die. And uh, then we will draw my little guy. To say thank you for watching. There we go. Bye -bye. You two have a good night. And I'll be around at some point, probably. Um, guaranteed to be Monday, potentially before. We'll see. But bye bye. End of stream. Blah blah blah.